Okay, uh, welcome to our tutorial. We'll be showing you how to create a simple yet very effective home automation relay system using the Arduino Wemos D1 R2 ESP8266 or the D1 Mini via home Wi-Fi network. So today we'll be showing you how we are controlling lights and power and fans in our workshop from an app on our mobile phone. All this easy automation for under 25 Aussie dollars. So the sketch is written to allow you to sit your D1s on your home network for easy access and control via your mobile phone using the Arduino Home app, which is available on either the App Store or the Android Play Store. This also works well on Wi-Fi extenders, which is what we have it working on now, without no, any dramas at all and can cover some great distances. We'll begin by going through the hardware required for the project. So firstly you'll need either a D1R2 as shown here or a D1 Mini. These can be found for anywhere between 3 and 10 Aussie dollars on Banggood or many other different online sites. We like to use Banggood because it's easy and reliable. You'll see here we have the Wemos D1R2 for $7.60 Australian dollars or we have the Wemos D1 Mini for just $4.84 uh, uh, sorry Australian dollars and those prices are both including freight. You can actually do this with uh, heaps of different ESP8266 boards but we had both the D1R2 and the D1 Mini available and found them very simple to use. We purchased all of our boards. No parts were supplied by manufacturers or wholesalers as samples. We are currently testing a few different boards for home automation. You'll also need an SSD 1306 OLED, which can also be found on Banggood for as little as 3 to 15 Aussie dollars. This is an optional extra really. Next you will need your relay board. Now this can be a single relay board, double, triple, whatever you like. We have completed two setups currently. One a single relay and one with a quad relay board. The final items needed will be your connector wires and these may differ depending on how you set your project up. So we'll start the assembly by connecting up boards. We have done a very basic setup here just so we can show you via the tutorial. There are many different ways to connect up the boards. We'll start with connecting the relay board to the Wemos D1 R2 as shown here. Power is driven by the 5 volt pin on the D1. Ground goes to ground. In our project we have nominated output pins D2, D3, D4 and D5 on the Wemos for the quad relay input and we've nominated pin D2 for the single relay input. We'll just focus on the quad setup here which is shown. Next thing is to connect the OLED. Power to the OLED is also driven off a 5 volt pin on the D1R2. Ground to ground again. Lastly, the SDA from the OLED connects to pin SDA on the D1R2 and the SCL from the OLED connects to the SCL 
on the D1R2. And this is the same on the Mini. So that's the main board connections done. Remember that the D1 needs to be powered by an external power source to ensure proper functionality. So now it's time for the sketch. We created this sketch from bits and pieces of others we'd found around on the internet with some additional other parts needed to achieve what we wanted. We couldn't find a simple sketch that allowed us to do what our project does that actually worked completely, so the only way we could do it was to come up with our own. We'll run through the sketch now. It's a pretty simple sketch really but it's all about knowing what you need and where you need it. It's all a learning curve for us too. So remember to like our video, subscribe to us to ensure you are the first to know when we add more simple Arduino projects. So firstly, we are assuming you already have the driver packs, etc. for the D1R2 or the D1 Mini. So you'll see in the sketch we include the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library as well as the Adafruit SSD1306, GFX and the GFX font libraries. These can all be downloaded into your Arduino software via the library manager by searching for their names as mentioned. Next we declare the SSID. So name our home Wi-Fi network and password. We then go on to define the relay names. In this example sketch, we are showing you the quad relay setup. We also define the OLED name. In the setup area of the sketch, we use commands to start the OLED and clear the display. We start the serial communication to send messages to the serial monitor, and we establish the connection to our home Wi-Fi network. We do use another sketch to determine the IP address first for the new unit, so you will need this as well. We tell the display to show what we want, and currently we have it saying connected to the shed with the IP address as well, and it's scrolling along the display. Next we have the output pin settings for the relay inputs, and the first set of digital writes for the initial state of the relay to be off. We then move on to the loop section where we nominate the controls of the relay, the on and off modes. Lastly, we move into an optional HTML code which prepares a HTML document to respond and add buttons. This allows you to simply go to the IP address of the unit from any web browser to control the relays. So this allows you to have control without using the app that we'll move on to now. So as you can see, the assembly and the sketch are pretty basic, which is great if you're looking for a quick and easy way to control things via relays, etc. The last thing we'll go through now is the app, which you can see here. There are probably others out there, but we're using the Arduino Home app which is simple to use and it works for what we want to do with it. There is a free version or a pro version for just $2.99 so we'll run through setting up the app now. Okay, we'll add so device name is shed base lights My IP address is 10.0.0.10. Obviously yours will be different to that. That's right. So we'll save that. 
Then we'll hit edit. Just for a quick look. Said right, nice. no, that's fine. Okay, done. Now lad. So this is where we're adding each relay individually. The name of this one will be Shed Light One. Command will be forward slash one will be on. forward slash one one on. on in capitals the off command will be forward slash one off save as you can see that's on the screen so now we can do another one we can add name shed bytes to command forward slash two on forward slash two off save and so that's how you save the relays and you can keep going to as many relays as you have in your system very basic this is the finished project it's, it's hooked up I'm just going to run through um, just two relays and get out of here it's about uh, 38 degrees up in the, uh, the shed here Okay, I'll just get uh, Iona to uh, turn off uh, one of the lights. One light turned off behind us, now turn the other one off. And I'll just come back up here. And if you want to turn them on. One light on. And two lights on. Okay, that's the end of it, uh, folks. Subscribe and uh, we look forward to uh, putting out uh, some more uh, tutorials in the near future. Bye.